he get it in? Did he get it in? Is it in? What happened? Hi, everybody, and welcome to the John Boy Media Warehouse in beautiful Jersey City, New Jersey, where our concrete blitzball jungle has been replaced by a one and only hockey rink as John Boy Media takes its first foray into floorball. Hi, everybody, and welcome alongside Joe's McFly. I am Chris Rose. Paxton Elrod will be joining us momentarily ringside. We cannot wait to have our first ever floorball tournament. It is a six-team, two-division format in which it's round robin in the beginning before a single elimination playoff format. Nice. And, Joe's, I know you've become an official puckhead. How yeah. excited are you for this? I'm super excited. First of all, I'm excited at what? Dan and the whole behind the scenes Dan crew the did. Tech Man, Dan, shout Dan out. the Tech Man did with putting all of this together. It looks unbelievable. It looks amazing. Very excited to see this get going. Yeah, and you know what? It's going to get competitive. It's going to be a ton of fun. But just like Blitzball, what's on the line, my man? Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Well, Ten really, uh, that's kind of the minor prize because also each champion will walk away with one of these. A hermit crab. Hermit crab. So, yeah, there's $10,000. That's nice. But if you are a champion, you get a hermit crab. That is something special. That's what they were most excited for. Uh, match one, we've got the Broad Street Bullies taking on the bosses and team baggage. It's going to be a ton of fun. But, of course, each and every game starts with something special, a shootout, which we will get to momentarily. One other reminder, we want you to be a winner, not by just watching, but clicking on this, the little subscribe button. Right, that thing right there, we'll watch closely in the third period. Every goal, we're going to be giving away $100 to a brand new subscriber. So click what thing? Right there. That thing subscribe. right there. So you you can be rich by just watching. Let's get to the action. All right, so each game will start with an opening shootout. That means there's one round. Each team will pick a player to shoot on the other goalie. Why is this important? Because if you win the shootout, you start the five-minute first period with a 30-second power play. Yes. And it's to find out who the Broad Street Bullies are going with. Let's send it down to Paxton. Thanks, guys. So you guys are uh, going to make your first choice on who is going to take part in this shootout. Who are you guys going to choose? Me. Okay. All right. Are you picking yourself because you are team captain? Is there a strategy going against this? Um, I didn't pick myself. The team picked me. I love the confidence. She's oozing it. I'm feeling it here on the court. Back to you guys. This is about to be an incredible first game. Let's see how this goes. James O'Brien. Some people call him John Boy. Penalty shot to start it out, taking his sweet time, and no! Shebs with the stop! Don't know about that strategy. Just kind of walked right into his body. It's kind of weird. So now Jake Storiali will try and force this to a round two. But if Jules Kopek, the sniper from Temple University, puts it in the back of the net, then the Broad Street Bullies will start the opening period with a 30-second power play. And there it is! <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Man! Storiali stunned already on bended knee. Doesn't know what hit him. She, he's shocked at how fast that happened. So here we go. Before we get started with the game, I got to get started cleaning up your pubic hair. 90 degrees in the warehouse. What did Team Baggage do? Team shaving session. What did Forgotten Rotten? Worm burners, everyone in the tournament, team shaving session. We needed to perform. The performance package from Manscaped helped us out, and it can help you out as well. You get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. They got the Weed Whacker. They got the lawnmower 4.0. Nose hair, ear hair, belly hair if you're into that, gone. So here we go, three five-minute periods with a running clock. There are certain stoppages with penalty calls and when the ball breaks, which will occasionally happen. So here we go. The Broad Street Bullies have the ball first. That's Jules in the corner working against Sam. Sends it back out, tries to send it out to Brady Rose. Sam trying to work it away in the corner. Sends it on over to Nick, stops it. Squares it up, no, nice stop, and a wow. miss again by Rose. Story Ali up to task early on. Oh, oh and there's a goal by goal. Nick Bowens. <laughs> and just like that, 
The Broad Street Bullies are on the board 26 seconds into the tournament. All right, early on, the Broad Street Bullies definitely on the attack, Joes. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That was a crazy shot. Just kind of turned around and just shot it in. Yes. Jay could not save that. Story Ali up to task once, but couldn't do it twice. And the Broad Street Bullies with the one nothing lead. Back in action. Oh, here comes Jimmy. Split the oh! defender, shoots and scores! Wow! And look at the uh, interesting celebration going foot to foot. Wow. O'Brien, very impressive. You hear the frogs in the background. And, and Jimmy took it, the, I mean, the, the entire way and just shot it. I feel like he took that other goal personally, man. It's yeah. just uh, pretty good there. Love that. He's got it right by him. So here we go. Jules will start out with the ball again. Uh. Whoa, uh, we have a change because obviously she did something illegal that Dan, the referee, did not like. That's Sam in the corner, getting it out to Jimmy. Jimmy, oh, Ooh, nice perfect. save by Shebs. Gets it out to Nick Bowens. Nick trying to swing it in the middle of the duels. It's intercepted by Sam, who's been a field hockey player. She was in eighth grade. Rose, shot on goal and out. I, I don't know about you, Rosie, but I, I'm loving Sam's aggressiveness here oh, yeah. the early going. Oh, yeah. Intense. So nice, even keeled demeanor in the office. But out here in floorball, it's nasty. They send it ahead to Jimmy. Nick trying to work him in the corner. Oh, beautiful pass in front of the crease. Nobody oh! on, but O'Brien again gets it past Shebs. Two straight goals by the boss man in the last minute. And the skate on skate celebration, even though those are just sneakers. Yes. I mean, there's some great job there. I mean, just to be able to turn that in and just kind of sh shoot it in was just awesome. O'Brien with his second goal. Who knew about Jimmy O'Brien? Uh-oh, Rose oh, no. tries to get it to Bowens. Can't do it. Now Bowens up in the corner. Oh, across the crease, but nobody home. Here comes Tasky, trying to beat everybody down ice or floor. But Bowens collects it for the Broad Street Bullies, works it along the board. Out to the field hockey star, Jules. Bowens in the corner. Oh, gets the crease, and Storiali will smother it. That's a smart one. Uh-oh. Does it look like he pulled a hamstring here? Uh-oh. Oh, no. What's he calling? What's he complaining about? Is he cramping already? It's very hot in here. Yeah, you got to make sure you remain hydrated in this time here. All right, so it'll actually be the Broad Street Bullies ball. Jules. Oh, fires high and out of play. Good strategy there to be able to get it right to her. I think that's what they need to do right now. Team baggage, Kraus sends it back to O'Brien, and here he comes. Quicker than he is fast, shoots it out of play. Oh, look at the two little former high school stars just chumming it up. It's like, that's, that used to be the play we ran on the energy line. Quicker than he is fast indeed, I love that. Rose will start it out in the corner, and sends it all the way down ice, or floor. Bowens, no, Jules, swings it, no good, back in the corner. Jules looking at, uh-oh, almost turns it over. Look at the stick handling ability. Oh, Ooh. nice job by Bowen. Swings it on over to Rose, back on over to Bowen. And oh, great save by Storiali. Good teamwork there by the Broad Street Bullies. It's thwarted by the most dense goalie around. I'll be great for his confidence getting into this. Rose working against Tasky. Nice job poking it away. Sends it down over to Jules. Uh-oh, stolen by O'Brien. Oh, nice save by Shebs. I am, um, I am impressed with O'Brien's stick work. Krauser shoots it on goal. Nice save by Shebs again. Tasky has it poked away by Bowens. 
Oh, no. Oh, oh Krauser just missed it. Picked up by Jules. On her way. Flips it over Story Alley's head. Nobody home. And nice save by Shebs. Minute to go now in the opening period. Bowens working it up to Rose. Rose can't find it in the corner, showing that Rose athletic ability. Tries to swing it through, but it's picked off by O'Brien in the crease. Paskey, up, oh, swings it around. Krauser picking it up in the corner. Oh, oh Paskey had a point it blank right. range. Instead, oh. it's knocked away. Oh, look at the shot again by Jules. Saved by Storiali. 30 seconds to go in the opening period. Jules again and knocked out. What an amazing save from, from Jake Storiali there. I mean, if we just take a look at that right on the replay, he just stuck his foot out there just enough to be able to block 20 seconds shot. to go. They need to show a little bit of, uh, hey, let's pick it up here. 15 seconds to go in the opening period. Let's go. Ball's in play. Jules going to have one more shot before the period's over, and it's blocked. And that'll do it for the first five minutes. Team Baggage with a two-to-one lead. And as we get a quick breather, let's check in on what's going on with Team Baggage. Send it down to Paxton. Sam, incredible first period defensively. How are you guys going to carry that, men like that mentality and, and that adrenaline into the next? Um, I think we just got to keep going. I think we feel good. I think it was really impressive that we – um, answered so quickly and tied it up and then took the lead right after that. I think that was huge. Um, I think we just have to keep it up. We just like need to keep taking shots on goal and something will happen. Perfect. Now, Jake, you know, in the, uh, in the trial game that we had about a week and a half ago, you said that you were in a tiger mentality. Are you continuing to be that animal or have we switched it up? I am the tiger. I hate that I'm sitting right now, but I kind of did it. I want to be a team. And, uh, I mean, they scored a shorthanded goal. Like, I'm <laughs> not worried about these guys. Okay, back to you guys. I'll head to the other team. All right, thank you very much, Paxton. So, the Broad Street Bullies, a team that has come together. Uh, most of them didn't even know each other before saying hi this morning. Uh, let's see how they're doing emotionally. Paxton? You guys started off pretty strong. Goal right off the bat. They came back, hit back hard. How are you going to go into the next period aggressively? Well, the strategy was to go, come out hard, and that's exactly what we did. So we're just going to do the same the next period and just try to maintain it better. Okay, now, Rose, uh, I have a question for you. You know, your father keeps speaking on the fact of your lack of athletic ability. How are you going to prove him wrong in the next two periods? Uh, I don't know how that's going to happen. I mean, he can't fault me when he's the one that gave me the athletic ability. So i um, got to play harder for my team. You know, I was whiffing, so can't be whiffing out there. There you have it. Back to you guys. Just starting the pot down here. Yeah. Well, that, that Paxton, at some point, maybe you should break the news to him that I'm not really his father. Oh, wow. Um, quick Jeez. reminder, uh, everybody go out there. If you're joining us for the first time, hit that subscribe button because in the next period for every goal that is scored, we're giving away 100 bucks per new subscriber. Well, to a new subscriber. Not every new subscriber gets one. You are eligible to win $100. Yes. Okay, don't hold me to that other stuff. All right, the Broad Street Bullies start with the ball here in period number two. Rose sends it on over to Nick. Nick swings it out over to Jules. Uh-oh, Rose whiffs on it. Jimmy, oh, missed fires. Got a quick slap shot. No question. Jules in the corner. Oh, backhanded, no good. Rose tries to swing it, no good. And that is out. Oh, actually, Nick was able to get it off the boards. Jules, uh-oh, stolen away by Tasky. Oh, here comes O'Brien. Oh, he misses an open shot one-on-one -on -one against Shebs. Too high. Had that breakaway, had a chance there, and just could not convert. Tried to go top shelf, but nobody could find it. Ball intercepted by Tasky, and Shebs will pick it up. Bowens. Jules. Oh, just misses and out of play. I was playing great in the mid, uh, the mid court, midfield. I, I don't know what what's going on with Jake. He's lying around like a sloth right now. Sloth is a great sloth. I'm so glad that you said that. Sloth is definitely a great. Oh animal. yeah. Rose behind the goal, swinging it around. What are you doing, kid? Have you not watched much hockey? What are we doing? Jeez. Tasky in the corner. O'Brien calling for it. At center ice. Oh, Tasky. Yeah, you can't do that. Can't scoop that up. 
So referee Dan says that is a violation. Can't sweep it. Can't sweep it. Yeah, we, we're not clean around here. No sweeping. Yeah. Nick sends it on over to Rose. Rose, backhander saved by Story Ollie. And uh oh, here comes O'Brien. He, he like hits a different stratosphere. Oh, nice, Jeff. Jeff's, Jeff's trying to find it. He can't. Rose sends it around to Bowens. And that almost bounced in. Over to Jules. Oh, look at the stick handling. Just taunting team baggage. Like we, oh, nice job by Story Ollie to deflect it out of bounds. That was a great save. If you take a look at it there, he just kind of just threw his body at it. Rose tries to get it around the crease. Knocked away by team baggage. Jules. Oh, sweeping shot, no good. Bowens behind the net. Oh, gets tripped. No call by the referee. The play on, wow. Could have been a penalty, but he said no. Kind of like oh, that. Rose, what are you doing? Gets it knocked away by Tasky. Trying to center it to O'Brien. Knocked away, Rose in the corner. Working against Tasky. Tasky around the net. Bowens tries to poke it away and does. Two minutes to go here in the second period. Rose on the sweeping shot, no good. Jules gets it in the other corner. Jules working against O'Brien. Oh, man. And a call against O'Brien. A little bit of a stick issue, and Jimmy says, yeah, my bad. Remember, she's a guest, Jimmy. Jerk. So now Broad Street bullies with the ball. Closing in on the 140 mark to go in the second period. Quick shot, no. Oh, a little too high, according to referee Dan. So that'll be a turnover. Oh, and getting razzed by Forgotten Rotten. We'll see them later on in the tournament. Oh, nice job by Shebs. Shot from 70 feet away. Tasky, look at her. It's like a two-on-one. I, I, I'm oh, not sure look. why they're not helping her right I don't now. know. It's incredible. I would like to see. Oh, that's what they were waiting on. Jules fires. No good. Oh, Rose tried to follow up, but look at Story Ali. He says he hit me on the knee. Oh, you wish. Just get rid of the ball. A minute to go here in the second period. Krauser. Over to Tasky in the corner, very aggressive. Lifts it, nobody home. Rose gets the ball, sends it up ice or floor, if you will. O'Brien now with 45 ticks left in the second. Oh, off the board, throws it to himself. Jimmy playing with himself, and it's not the first time he's ever heard that. Nope. Jules picks it up in the mid ice. Ooh. Nice Whoa. stick handling, shot no good. <laughs> that was nasty though. Oh, nice pass by Nick Bowens, but Rose wasn't ready for it, typical. O'Brien, oh, deflected by Shebs, picked up by Bo. Oh! No, it's on the back. And Story Ali picks it up with less than 20 to go in the second period. The, the intensity is starting to pick up. You can feel it now. 10 seconds to go in the second. Tasky has it knocked away. Five seconds to go. Sends it over. And Bowen says, that's it. No scoring here in the second period. It remains two to one, team baggage. We would like to send a special thank you to Floorball Planet, who is kind enough to supply us with all of the awesome floorball equipment for this tournament. If you're looking to get your own floorball gear, click on the link in our description. Use the code JOHNBOY at checkout for 10% off. Look at uh, some of the great goalie work we had by Story Ali for team baggage, Shebs for the Broad Street Bullies, both up to task in the last five minutes. Absolutely. And I see some awesome stick work, stick work from Jules that we've seen in that. I think we might see a little bit more of that come third period. Let's check in on the team that is down two to one. Paxton, what do you have? Bones, you had a, uh, a nasty fall behind the goal. Was that intentional? Was it a flop? Or did someone actually trip you a bit of gamesmanship there i'd say it was a trip um if you notice the bottom of the rule book it says apostrophe subject to change so always curious with that when it's the home team but um yeah you know good clean game absolutely now we are seeing some incredible defense by you what is your strategy going into the third period uh just save the puck just save the ball as much, just do whatever i can to save it whatever it takes. absolutely now do you think that you were doing better than jake i mean i'm not gonna yeah Paxton, thank you very much. Uh, Patrick Shebs, you know him from the Hockey Collective along with Nick Bowens.
but right now they are down two to one against Team Baggage. Uh, Paxton, you're with a uh, uh, very sweaty Jimmy. Yes, very sweaty. Um, they seem to be a little out of breath, but that makes sense two periods in. What is your offensive and defensive strategy going into this final period? Yeah, so we wanted to come out really hot in the first uh, and try to put pucks on net. The second is a uh, preserve energy. So we had no offense in mind there. It was just don't let them score, try to catch our breath. And now the third, we're going to attempt to come out like a bat out of hell again. And if we get chances to run like I did in the first, take it. Yes. All right, so what are you looking forward to here in the third period, Joes? Uh, well, the first thing is for everybody to hit that subscribe button so that they can be able to, you know, any goal that's scored here, they can be able to win. Yeah, you'll be eligible to win $100. Yes. Not every $100. subscriber gets Not 100 a- but you'll be eligible to win $100 if you're a new subscriber. So hit that subscribe button. Does it look like Storiali is struggling a little physically? I think he needs to stretch a little bit. Well, he's jumping around. He kind of does this a little bit where he's like almost like a making the team – to like a false sense of security. Oh, so he's and trying to he lull them. Yeah, little gamesmanship, a little, little okie yes, doke. Yes, and then he locks in. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the old Sugar Ray Leonard put the hands down. Broad Street Bullies start with the ball. Rose, weak shot on net against Storiali, who swings it out to Tasky. Tasky working against Bowens, tries to swing it backhand as it poked away. Bowens along the boards. Oh, picked off by Krauser. Jules now working against O'Brien. Swings it on over to Rose. One-timer picked off by Kraus. Kraus against the boards. Offered himself over to Tasky, who's not up to Tasky. Sends it back to O'Brien, who's now playing defense. Oh, poked away nicely by Bowens. Bowens in the corner. Swings in front. Rose! Did he get it in? Did he get it in? Is it in? What happened? I'm trying to look right now to see what happened. What happened? That's a goal from my son. Did he score? Oh, he made me so proud! What an awesome job! Oh my gosh, he scored! What an amazing moment! Here it is! <laughs> Puts it right on the stick! Look at that, Oh yeah. my god, he almost whipped it. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my god, how'd that thing get in? An unbelievable pass by Bowens in the corner. I want to hear you say it. Go ahead, Ref. Broad Street Bullies goal, 34, 74. 34 rows. Let's, let's make the family name proud. There you go. Good job, referee Dan. All right, so we're tied at two with 4.28 to go. An amazing assist by Bowens. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a, what a way to tie it up there. I mean, uh, I'm really happy for, for Rose to be able to knock that in. He now feels like he's part of the team, probably. You have to keep in mind he's only 16 years old. Yes. I know he looks like he's 22. Rose having some trouble with the stick. Nice job by Shebs. Gets it up to Bowens. Oh, swings it out of play. Now, Rose, if you remember correctly, in between the first and second period, I actually stirred the pot a little bit, lit a fire under uh, under your son, and he said he was going to score, and he did just that. Yep, he did. Barely, but he did it. Jimmy working in the corner as he's now on offense. He was on defense at the beginning of this period, trying to swing it over to Krauser, his former high school line mate. Oh, Shebs picks it up nicely. Tries to swing it ahead to Jules, but Jimmy picks it up. Uh Uh-oh. Jules might have hurt her wrist on that play. But she's tough. She's a Division I, two-sport athlete. She's not going to let little Jimmy O'Brien whack hurt her. Bowens trying to swing it up to Rose. Can't control it in the corner. Bowens swings it around, knocked away, and out of bounds. It'll still be Broad Street Bullies ball with under three and a half to go. Actually happens quick. Don't blink. I want to see O'Brien play a little bit more offense. Rose swings it out. Jules, stick working at center ice or floor. Now back on over to Bowens. Bowens has it knocked away by Tasky, picked up by O'Brien. Tasky tries to send it ahead to O'Brien. He gets behind Bowens. Bowens doing a nice job poking it away. Outstanding work by Bowens. Swings it on over to Jules. Jules coming up. Oh, the traffic, Rose knocks it down. Oh, Bowens cannot do that. You cannot use your hand. Habit. Yep, old habit. Oh, that is a penalty now. You cannot use your hand. You can in hockey, you can in this sport. That is a 30-second power play now with 2.37 to go. It'll be a three on two. The first power play of the tournament. I think Baggage is probably going to try to aim at Rose right now, kind of go at him. 
Um, well, we'll see. Caskey fires high. And this is good for the Broad Street Bullies who are just trying to milk this penalty. Penalty's done in 10. Rose, oh, nice save by Storiali. In five. Oh, nice save by oh. Shep. But Tasky gets it with one second left on the power play. Unbelievable. Tasky with the follow up goal to give Team Baggage the lead with 2.07 to go. Tasky with the goal. And now the Broad Street Bullies down one with 2.07 to go as Bowens was just seconds away from escaping the penalty box. What an awesome job on that, uh, on that rebound to be able to knock it right in. I mean, just a, just a great job for you. Rose fires it all the way down. Story Ali will save it. Now O'Brien back in on defense. Bowens trying to get it going. Rose knocking it away from Tasky or attempting to. Backhander, Sheps picks it up, swings it on over to Jules. Under 150 to go. Knocked away and out of bounds. Still Broad Street ball. So Bowens will take it in the corner as we approach the 130 mark. Bowens swings it out to Jules. Jules, oh, working, nice pivot. Oh, just missed. And the follow by Bowens, no good. Rose in the corner. Oh, what are you doing, kid? Closing in on the one minute mark. There's 122 to go. Team yeah. Baggage with the one goal lead. Need to get, need to get the ball tools. They, that's what they need to do. Baggage needs to deny that. Jimmy on the move. High and out of bounds. 116 to go. Bowens at center floor. High and out. 113 to go. Now with under 90 seconds, you can pull your goalie. If you're down, there is a stick available. But the Broad Street Bullies elect not to pull their goalie. Jules working at center floor. Kasky knocked away. And again by Rose. But Broad Street's got to get on it with under a minute to go. Phenomenal defense. Oh, there's a chop. And Broad Street now has the ball with 51 ticks left. It'll be Jules working against Jimmy. She can shoot it from there. She oh. does, and has scored and tied it up at three. I mean, look at this shot. What an awesome job there with the slap shot to be able to knock it right past Story Alley. Unbelievable performance as each one of the members of the Broad Street Bullies has now scored. Storiali beating himself up over giving that one up. O'Brien cutting through the middle, poked away. Oh, Charlie Jimmy Obel tried to up. knock it away. Bowens, nice save by Storiali. Oh! Follow up goal by Bowens is good. And just like that, two goals in the last 11 seconds. With 40 seconds to go, the Broad Street Bullies have reclaimed the lead. Ba Baggage is falling apart right now. They need to regroup a little bit and try to tie this game up. An amazing job by Bowens. Look at this. He takes the puck mid-floor. In on Storiali. Stopped once, but not twice. Right under the feet. Oh, man, that was amazing. Three goals so far here. Actually, four. Four. Four goals, It was 2-1 yes. coming into this yes. period. So, hopefully you're each walking away with 100 bucks out there. O'Brien centers it. Oh, Tasky just misses. Rose tries to set it up, but O'Brien steals it. Oh, he scores! With 27 seconds to go. Another $100 to a lucky subscriber as Team Baggage has tied it up. And hats are coming on the floor as James has the first hat trick of the tournament. The third goal by Jimmy O'Brien. You're going to need that hat. I threw my hat. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, announcers can't do that. I'm, well, I'm, I'm here. I'm, yeah, you yeah, can't show do. favoritism. I'm not favorite. I'm just showing respect. Yeah. Sends it along the boards. Jules working against Krauser. Bowens picking it up mid-ice. High. No good. Rose in the corner against Tasky. Sends it around to Bowens. 
Under 15 to go. Jules, 10 seconds left. under 10 to go. Jules doesn't lose it, and it looks like we are going to some extra floor ball. So since we are now tied after the third period, there is no overtime. We are going straight to a three-round shootout. So we have got drama here in the first ever floorball game presented to you by John Boy Media. All right, for more on uh, how the Broad Street Bullies are doing, thanks to an emotional roller coaster in the last five minutes, let's send it back down to Paxton. Emotional roller coaster is right. You guys came into that third period, absolutely dominated, tied the game, going into now a shootout. How are you guys feeling going into this? We're pumped. Yep. I love her simplicity, and I'm throwing it back to you guys. Paxton, thank you very much. I mean, it was crazy because what happened there in the last minute, we had three goals, right? Yes. Just an amazing swing of emotions. Jimmy ties it for team baggage with less than 30 ticks left. How are they doing? And more importantly, how is their goalie doing, Paxton? It's an important question, Rose. Rose wants to know, how are you doing going into this shootout? I feel great. I feel great. In my head, we've already won. Um, I'm going to make a couple saves. I'm, I'm going to make every save. They're going to score every goal. We'll be out of here. Good game. So here's the thing. You stated, you stated yourself as a Tiger, right? right? Joe's and Rose actually stated you as a sloth in the second period. How are you going to prove them wrong? That's tough. Uh, sloths, <laughs> not known for their goalies-ness, but... I'll sloth it up. Screw them. What are they doing? Just sweating on the sideline? Yeah, we've got the pit stains to prove it. All right, so here we go. Sam Tasky in on Shebs. No good! So Shebs stops the first shot. Here we go. Jules Kopik from Temple University in on Storiali. Oh, nice save by Storiali. Nothing through one. That's a big one right there. He knows it because uh, he knows who that is. Yep. Now it'll be O'Brien in on Shebs. The hockey content creator. Is he up to task against baseball's number one content creator? John Boy taking his time. Oh, and it, oh! It is in. Shebs stopped the initial shot. Does that count? That does count as it trickled in. Now it's up to Rose, the 16-year-old from Los Angeles, who has never actually seen ice before. Can he tie it against the man he called his celebrity idol, Story Ali? It's kind of fucked up. He lives with a celebrity. Rose stopped. So this will be it. If Krauser scores, it will be over. And Team Baggage will walk away victorious. If not, Bowens will have a chance to tie, and then we will have goalie versus goalie shootout. Gonna come up clutch here. Krauser, no good! The Broad Street Bullies are still alive. It'll be Bowens versus Story Ali. A made goal. Yes. We continue on. A stop by the Sloth Man. It's over with a team baggage win. Let's go, Big Salamander it up. Oh, that is it! An amazing job in the shootout by Story Ali as team baggage is victorious in the shootout. What a great job out of Jake there. He jumped right in front of that and blocked the ball from going in. It was He, he anticipated it perfectly. Great job out of Jake. Great opening game out of team package. An outstanding opening game. And for more, let's send it down to Paxton with the star of the shootout. We have the star of the shootout, Jake Storiali. Once again, you guys called him a sloth. He used that as fuel. How are you feeling after that victory? What did I tell you? I told you we already won. We already won. And I hear the noise. I hear the noise. Joe's and Rose. I'm like sweating. More sweat. 
So are you guys going to go do some yoga now to prepare for your next game tomorrow? My hamstrings are locked up, so there's going to be a lot of stretching. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're just going to continue this run throughout the tournament. I love that. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jake. Team Baggage feeling great after their first regular season victory. So that'll do it for Paxton Elrod and Joe McFly and our entire John Boy Media team. I am Chris Rose. We will see you next time here for the floorball tournament when Forgotten Rotten takes on the John Boy Media office gang. We'll see you next time from Jersey City, everybody. I think we were the better team for the majority of that game. You know, dumb penalty by me there. We uh, need to mix in a save. Our goalie wasn't great to start the game. Um, but, you know, Jules carried us right in our can, hanging out. We'll be back next game. Yeah. Uh, for me, containing energy is like the main thing. Sam's our digger. Uh, we got to stay back, though. That's like, they're pretty good. They had yeah. two people that could run play, so yeah. if you don't get caught back, if you get caught down low, they'll get you. But, uh, I don't know, we had an opportune power play that we took advantage of, and then whenever we needed one, it seemed like we could just figure it out. Yeah. Sometimes uh, the better team loses. That's what happened here today. And the, the only fear was after they scored immediately, and it was yeah. like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, what if this gets up? Yeah. I have a question for Joe's. Yes. Um, he happened to throw his hat there on the hat trick bowl. I'm, I'm just wondering, are, are broadcasters allowed to pick and choose favorites? Or? Oh, oh, oh shit. Your favorites? Here's the thing. I, I, I would have done the same if I was in the crowd. You got to do it for everyone. Not just, you know, now that you did it for one team. Yes. You got to do it yeah. for every team now. Yeah. I'm, I'm expecting to see it now. Well, you will, because I respect game. You know, I'm not afraid to use my body. That's all I have. I don't have a stick. Yeah. Stickless. So, I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna use my body.